here we are on day 12 of our being a better rider challenge and I thought it would be finally time to give our horses a break today so that's what we're gonna do today is all about giving your horses a break hi everyone it's me Lisa the budget equestrian welcome back to my channel and if you're new here welcome if you'd like to know how to make the most of the time that you have with your horse consider subscribing to my channel just click the bell notification down below and that way you'll never miss any of my new videos. So for day number 12 of our Being a Better Rider Challenge, we're giving our horses a day off. But just because the horses are getting a day off today doesn't mean you don't get a new video. So today I wanted to share with you an unboxing, this box right here. This is from Jeffers Equine. I've done lots of unboxing videos from like Dover and from Riding Warehouse the saddle box, the heart to horse box, but I've never done an unboxing video from Jeffers Equine. So I thought I would share that with you today. If you've never heard of Jeffers Equine, they are an online pet supply company and I've been ordering stuff from them for a very, very long time. They have a huge selection of stuff and I get a lot of my horse care stuff there like supplements and things like that. And that's what should be in this box today. So let's see what's inside the box. Packing material. So the first thing in the package is some bridle hooks. These are really nice bridle hooks and they were about $2 a piece. So these will be handy in my tack area of my feed room to have really nice hooks to hang up my bridles before I ride. The next thing I got, and I needed this really bad right now, are the bug pellet refill pellets. And what you do with these is you get the bug pellets that you hang up, and these are the refills. So what I'll do is replace the bug pellets that I have because they're not working anymore because it's been like 60 days, we're towards the end of summer and the flies are getting really bad. So I'm gonna replace my bug pellets with new refills. And then my barn will smell amazing again. And so will my garage, because I use it in my garage too to keep the bugs and the flies out. They work so good. They have eight different essential oils that are kind of infused in the beeswax and it just makes the barn smell amazing. I love the essential oils and it smells like I have a deodorizer in the barn and it keeps the flies away. And it's really strong. I can actually smell it through the packaging. So these are fantastic. If you've never used bug pellet, I would really recommend you consider it. And the next item I got is Absorbing Ultra Shield EX. So it's supposed to last a long, long time. You're supposed to put it on. It's supposed to last something like 21 days when you spray it on your horse. I've never seen a fly spray last over two days. So I'm not really buying into the 21 days but I have used this fly spray before and it works pretty good, but it kills and repels more than 70 species of flying nasty critters. And the flies have been so bad lately that I really wanted to get some really strong fly spray. And this is also a coat conditioner too. So hopefully it'll be a little bit gentle on my horse's coats because I will be using this a lot. The next thing that I got is by Equiopathics. It's asthma and allergy relief. And Frisbee has heaves, so he coughs occasionally, and I'm always looking for something that's gonna work for his respiratory system. And this stuff seems to work pretty well. You give him two milliliters in the morning, in the evening, it's all natural. But Jeffers has a deal that if you buy three of these, then you get a fourth one free. So hopefully this will last me, should last at least a month, maybe longer. But it does seem to work pretty well. I've used other like powders and supplements that are supposed to help with respiratory issues. And this works just as well as anyone else I've tried. And I like that it's natural. So I bought some of these for Frisbee. And the last thing I got, and hopefully this will be the last time this year I'll have to buy this, is Simplify. And what Simplify is, is a feed through fly control. So you put a scoop of this on your horse's feed once a day and it's supposed to help 
control the fly population at your barn. And it only works if every horse at your barn is on this to help cut down the flies. And something else that I've learned is it only helps if the horses in your surrounding area are on this type of program too. But I think it does work. I would hate to see if I wasn't using this, how bad the flies would be. And then they also include a catalog. So if you wanna go shopping through their catalog, you can do that too. I really like Jeffers Equine. They ship really fast and they have good products and the stuff is really well protected for shipping. I've never had any issues with anything leaking. So to me, that's a bonus, especially when I'm ordering like liquids and fly sprays, things like that. It's good not to have it leak. Have you ever ordered anything from Jeffers before? I think they're worth a look. You can find them by going to jeffersequine.com. If anything, compare their prices and see how they stack up to other places. I found that they're very competitive. And like I said, they ship fast and they've been around for a long, long time. So that is it for day number 12 of our Being a Better Rider Challenge. Just kind of a unboxing video, just to give you guys a video. If you're participating in the challenge, be sure to do your plank exercise today. And what I would suggest, since you're not riding today, if you wanna ride, you can, but if you're giving your horse a break today, you could write that down for day number 12. You could go through and clean up your barn or your tack area, just kind of make sure everything's put in its place. So that way it's ready for tomorrow, which is day number 13, which is going to be fun because we are going to be getting back on our horses. So are you having fun with this challenge so far? Are you doing it with your horse? Have you noticed any improvement? Have you noticed any changes? Leave me a comment down below. I would love to know what you think. Thank you so much for watching my video today. Be sure to subscribe to my channel so you can be updated when I have new videos coming out and maybe even participate in this 31 day challenge. Again, thanks so much for watching and until next time, stay passionate and enjoy your ride. Mm -hmm.